Right here, I have the five kinds of terrain that you can build in Theme Park Tycoon 2. Obviously, there's going to be a lot in the middle, but these are the main five kinds of terrain, ranging from the noob terrain, that's like basically nothing, and then the very pro terrain, where it's like really really cool and super detailed even if you don't have disabled collisions you can still do some of these and so i'm going to be showing you how to do these good terrains and what not to do as well these are the ones you shouldn't do so first we're going to be starting with the ones you shouldn't do so let's walk over here so this one right here as you can read from the sign it says no terrain and so i am basically done right here this one is the no terrain a lot of people just have a huge flat park and like literally don't put any terrain don't do that because it's gonna even if it's like supposed to look kind of flat don't just do one level of terrain like this all flat like this make sure you do a little bit of ups and downs at least not just this and so now we're gonna move on to the little better than no terrain is what i call the noob terrain so this noob terrain this is what a noob terrain looks like i see this way too much and i guess okay let's go to edit terrain height this is what the noobs do so they'll go up and then they'll be like whoa i'm so good at terrain look my park is gonna look beautiful it's amazing look how beautiful this terrain is and then they like uh, like this and then like this and boom that is their terrain right there and they think that looks beautiful and it is way better than no terrain but it's still it literally just looks like a city a green city like it, uh, it's not ideal and so this is what the noobs would do they don't smooth it out they don't do anything to it they probably don't even change the colors maybe they will let's change some colors some people some of the noobs out there will change the colors and it might even make it look worse boom boom okay there we go now look how beautiful well, we'll make some of it black granite that is a beautiful color right there dry grass even more beautiful oh my goodness this is beautiful look at that and i forgot in this one in the no terrain sometimes they do paint it as well so we'll paint it concrete and ice boom look at that that is the no terrain this is the a little better noob terrain okay so these two you shouldn't be doing if you are doing one of these you're just painting the floor or you're doing that and painting it but it's not smooth at all unless that's the look you really want to go for don't do that here is the next one the third and better one this is for people that don't have disabled collisions this is the good no game pass terrain so it's going to be good terrain but it's no game pass terrain so if you don't have disabled collisions like i think about 45% of you out there I did a poll and 45% of you out there do not have disabled collisions and so this is what you do if you do not have disabled collisions please do this this is the bare minimum at least do this for your terrain so we're going to go up here we're gonna paint it the right way but first we're gonna basically do what we did here but maybe a little like more conservative like this like a little a little smaller not as like crazy as that so we're, we're doing a little bit right here see that's kind of beautiful and now don't leave it there now we're gonna smooth this out so we're gonna bring some down bring some up so then it's like instead of just being a sharp edge it's kind of more curved down so it's smooth and when when you have like a oh my goodness i'm gone i trapped myself no rip kizzy kizzy's dead oh i'm back and for these corners right here what you want to do is just bring the corners down and then bring this up to the corners that you just brought down and then we're just going to be doing this around the entire thing basically and if you want to change it up do it you don't have to like bring this up like you did all the other ones you could bring this one down and then bring these two down and it does not cost that much compared to like primitives and stuff doing normal terrain does not cost a lot so this is pretty good so we're just going to keep doing this all around let's just keep doing this i'm gonna skip to the part where i'm like done smoothing it out so this is basically what we're gonna be doing for the whole thing so we'll be back when i'm done smoothening it it's making everything smooth okay after a little bit of making this train smooth it actually looks like a little more realistic and now to make it just a little more realistic we're gonna get some trees so let's grab some trees i'm gonna turn off the table collisions because we don't even need it and let's just grab these trees these are probably the best trees um i don't yeah there's no better trees so we're gonna just place some of them on only the flat areas because these bumpy areas that doesn't let you do it so like that and then we're gonna grab some bushes let's grab these bushes right here make sure you get the round ones the blocky ones look kind of weird so round right here oh, actually the blocky ones aren't that bad and if it's snowy make sure to do the snowy bushes and then we got rocks so we're gonna place the round rocks actually maybe we'll do so we'll do this spiky rock right here this one right here and make sure to rotate it while you're placing it and then we'll do the round ones up and then look there's even a little space up here and a little tiny space at the very actually that looks bad take that out we're not doing that one 
And so now, last but not least, well, actually, no, there's more than just this, but we're going to actually paint this. Since there's no game passes, we're not going to use those colors. We're going to paint it lighter colors, too. So some of them are going to be lighter. And then we're going to grab the bush colors and make some of them different, like darker. Oh, that might be a little too dark. We'll make the other ones a little darker as well. Like that. And then we'll make this one that color. And then the trees will make that color as well. And then maybe one of, like, lighter colors. What if we do a lot lighter colors? Yes, look at that. Now it looks cool. Um, and that's basically that one. The last thing we're going to do to this one is change the painting of it for the top to be rock. So we're going to make this top part rock. Every single like top part of this is going to be rock. And as it goes down, it's going to turn into grass. So it looks kind of cool like that. It starts turning into grass as it goes down. And I think that one looks pretty solid. So if you don't have game passes, this is the one you would be making. Uh, don't make anything worse than this or else it's going to be bad. But if you, if you want to make cool terrain, this is it right here. Now we're going to be moving on to the next one. This is Disable Collisions Terrain. So this is like the bare minimum you should be doing if you do have disabled collisions. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the other one. We're going to lift them up like this. This is always like the first thing you do when you're making terrain. You always do like a base kind of model of your terrain. Like that right there. And then for this one, we'll do the same. We'll paint the top rock. And then we'll do that first though. And the other one we didn't do it first. And then we're going to come here. Well, actually, let's, let's paint everything rock. Paint everything rock. Um, or just whatever terrain that you're using, I guess, because not everyone's doing rock here. Okay, so now we're going to be going to primitives. Here, we're going to pick this, and now we're going to come here to the snapping and go to no snapping, no snapping, and 11.25 snapping. And so place one down first and then paint it the color you want. And so this is going to be the base color. And since you do have game passes, I guess you have this too, probably. And so we're going to grab like, we're just going to grab a gray color and then make it a uh, rock right here. So just grab any color for now. We'll be changing some of them. And now let's destroy that. And now since we're in precision mode, we don't want to be in precision mode. Exit it with the X. So now we can like shift up and down using control and shift. You should, probably should know that already if you have disabled collisions. So control and shift. And now we're going to be holding shift while rotating it like this. And we're just going to be placing them super fast. You'll get the hang of it if you do it enough. But like you just hold shift and control and then rotate it. And then you eventually will go into this kind of build mode. You're just going to go into like Benny epic mode right here. You're just going to be going super fast. I'm pretty sure Benny does this most of the time, but he does the other version more. So we're going to do this one first though. So we're going to just do this. I'll probably skip to the part when I'm done doing all these rocks for everything. Everything's going to be on the same, like nothing's going to be rotated side to side. So it's all just going to be rotated this way like that. And it makes it really easy. This, this way is the way that's like the fastest for doing it with disabled collisions. And so if you want to go really fast and you don't have a lot of time, then this is the way to do it. And it's okay if you leave some of the original terrain showing because you won't even notice after you paint it. Look how speedy I'm going. Okay, now we'll skip to the part when I'm done with basically this whole mountain. Okay, here we go. We finished this whole thing. Oh, actually, wait. Let's cover this edge up right here. It looks kind of bad. Okay, now we finished this whole thing. Now we're going to be grabbing our painter and just getting different shades of this rock and just spamming random shades. So we're going to go that shade. We're going to go a little lighter. Don't do too many of those. That's, that's kind of too light. And then we're going to go a lot darker like this. Oh, that's not darker, but that's still a good shade. So we're going to use it. And then what we want to do is grab, where is it? We want to grab grass. Okay, grass is right here, and we're going to grab some green, a good green color. Um, I think this is good. And we're just going to paint some of them this grass color to, like, make it so there's, like, a little bit of moss around. And it looks kind of cool. So that's going to be the easier Disable Collisions terrain. This is probably the fastest. It takes about as much time as this takes. So, yeah, so that's that way. And also, you could add some trees on here if you wanted to. It would look kind of cool with trees. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So that is that way. Now with the new resizing tool, there's even a better way to do this, even though it does take longer. I'm just going to make a smaller mountain since it takes so long, but I it is better than this, okay? And stay to the end of the video because there is a little twist at the end. There's, there might be a bonus one. I don't know. You'll have to see. Also, if you haven't already, if this video has helped, Click out of full screen because I know you're in full screen probably. And if you're not, then you're kind of weird. But click out of full screen, go down, and press the little thumbs up button. You know the little thumbs up? It helps out the channel, okay? All right, let's keep going. 
so we're gonna make again a base right here it's not gonna be very big because this one's a little bit harder than the other one let's make like a medium size uh, mountain right here just like that oh my goodness I made that shorter okay just like that that's a pretty medium sized mountain and now we're gonna be painting everything again rock um, if you can paint whatever you want because it's your mountain but for this one we're gonna be grabbing some of these primitives but look at what we're gonna do we're actually gonna be able to resize these and make them like cool so this we're like actual mountains they don't look like this be honest they will look a little more like this one right here at least some mountains not all of them in the world that's not really realistic but here we go also we're gonna change our rotation snapping to no snapping for this so now we're gonna be placing just like humongous rocks tiny rocks all sizes of rocks around here so you're gonna be just doing the same thing over there kind of spamming but changing the size of the rocks as you're doing it so some of them are gonna be a lot bigger some of them smaller some of them you have to delete because you did it wrong uh, but try to make them not too big like like not way too big like this is probably the biggest you should make one of the rocks and it's gonna look a little bit better you can do your own style honestly there are a lot of styles it really depends on what person is building like this because there are a lot of styles of rocks if you're doing it like this it's basically uh, endless amounts of things you could do here there's so many different styles you there's never just one that somebody has but this is kind of how I do it uh, don't make them too big remember that and now we're just gonna keep going and right here when you get to like the cliffs this is what you do you just make them a little smaller and then you'll I don't know as big as you want them to but then you just go up and then just go back a tiny bit make it a little different go down and up and then make it a little smaller for the cliffs it's a little harder because it might look weird if you do it wrong but that's kind of the gist of it and also rotate them I did not rotate this one enough Kind of like that so we'll be doing this along the entire thing and I'll be back when I'm done resizing these uh, for the entire mountain all right so I'm kind of done with this mountain now what we can do something cool that we can do for these since we do have resizing we can like look at this we can like do tiny little rocks just sticking out of the bottom like this make them super super close to the ground like this and it would look so cool look and it has like tiny rocks like this and you can make this throughout the entire edge and it looks really nice and some of them can even go out for pretty long look at this we can like make it come out and it's gonna come out pretty long oh I think this just makes it more realistic because obviously in nature not all rocks are the same size and so this is gonna make it a little different all right and then another thing we're gonna be doing is adding some bushes but like actual bushes look at this so we search up bush and we grab these bushes and then we're gonna like rotate them and resize them around this entire mountain so this is why it takes a lot longer because we actually have to like move them to like exact locations but it does look a little bit better than the other one and even some of these bushes could be barely sticking out like you barely see the green look at this one right here you barely see the green there but it gives it a cool little effect all right I think that's gonna be it for the bushes now we're going to be painting these rocks different colors you can just copy these look at this same colors right here just like the other one we painted them different colors and now we can grab some trees too and resize the trees as well so like make tiny little trees over here and what I like to do is make the trees in the front a little bit bigger and then as you go back you make them smaller to make like an illusion that it's actually like really big and the mountain is just humongous even though the mountain is just a little tiny mountain and you're just making a little illusion so make them super small at the back as small as you can make these trees in the back and like rotate them and stuff as well and now it looks like this mountain is really big because the tree is really big at the front and then it's really small at the back and it gives it a cool illusion maybe even if it's just a little bit of an illusion it helps a little bit all right and that should be about it for that one I think this one looks a lot better than this even though this looks super detailed as well this just looks a little better so now our bonus one oh yeah there is a bonus one I was lying to you when I said maybe there's 100% a bonus one so let's grab this sign and do a bonus one up actually in the back because this is a big one this one you do need to save collisions but it's what like most of the pros do out there like the pros pros I'm talking like stealth dynamics pros so here we go this one we're gonna call the best that is not how you spell best the best disable collisions terrain out there this is what you do this it's really hard and I don't even know how to do it as good as some people do but this is what you do so for this one we'll paint it let's paint it something else let's stay with rock but let's make it like a deserty kind of rock so like orangey uh, not that color absolutely not like this kind of color 
So this is what I, I see all the time in the parks that I showcase. So here's what we do. So we're gonna do like an outline of a mountain first. And this is just gonna be like, like you know those like, what's it called? low poly like mountains out there this is kind of what it looks like so we're gonna do a base of a mountain um usually you have like a shape already kind of coming here and we're also gonna be using transform space global a lot here so then it's like at the same level and you're not like twisting and turning it the wrong directions and let's see we'll do a couple mountains here we'll do like some of the mountain right here and then we'll like make it different over here and basically you just want to outline a shape for this mountain this one I'm gonna make a little bit taller right here and so we're gonna have to make it thinner and our last wall right here for the mountain I guess it's not a wall but it's kind of a wall all right here we go so this is how you do these low poly mountains I don't even know how to do them as well as a lot of people do but I don't think there's a tutorial out there of how to do them if there is somebody correct me in the comments because this is gonna be better than whatever I'm gonna be doing but this is kind of the gist of it so right here you can see the levels are really off and so you're gonna grab this one right here and you're gonna kind of like try to match it to the bottom one so we're gonna like turn it and just do everything we can to like match it and make it smooth without having like edges like this one so like this we're actually getting kind of close here so here we go that's like our first piece right there and then we'll like flip it and do another one this is gonna look bad guys I'm not very good at this but basically you're trying to match edges to like the thing and sometimes we will use triangles so let's go over here let's use these wedges right here this is basically the triangle and then we're gonna like flatten it out a little bit and we're gonna be using these triangles when you're building these terrain pieces a lot they'll help a lot because you need triangles in this so here we're gonna try to match it up as best as we can there we go I fixed that edge right there we should probably paint that triangle and as you can see they're kind of like matching up slowly and this now we can it's kind of free you don't need to like do specific stuff but like now you can move this just barely until it's like matching up perfectly right there and then you just do a lot of random stuff to make it like match up perfectly so right here as you can see there's like an edge right there and it's pretty easy to just grab a primitive match it up to the edge and make it match up to this wall right here and so we're gonna be doing stuff like this a lot and look you already have a kind of smooth edge right here for this mountain and you just keep going up and you're gonna have to delete a lot of stuff it's gonna be pretty complicated but at the end of the day it's super smooth it's like it's low poly and it just looks super cool and that's kind of what everybody like the really really good parks do um, and there's a reason for that it's really hard to do and so right here you could see that you could grab these wedges and actually match it up with these triangles right here like these spaces in the middle and if you just take your time it'll eventually match up to be pretty perfect right here so right there you can see it actually kind of worked now we're gonna try to flip it the other way and do it again but basically it's just a lot of like mixing and matching shapes and stuff and just doing a lot of things to try to make these edges disappear while you're making this mountain and look at that that kind of worked out right there and you would do that again over here and just keep building this mountain up and that is going to be this entire tutorial i'm really bad at this so try to not judge me too harshly in the comments of doing this one but it's just like the idea that you can do stuff like this in your parks if you really really put your mind to it so thanks for watching everybody don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already maybe you skipped through the part where i said to like it and that's why you didn't like it i hope that's what you did Unless you just ignored me saying to like the video. You should like the video anyways. Thanks for watching. I hope these helped. Make sure to never ever do these two. And always do at least these four right here. One of these four. That's probably going to be the best one. That's going to be the actual best one if you're good at it. Not like me. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.